What's up guys? Welcome back to Jogo. Back to another video. And in today's video, we are modifying the daily, which is the 328. I mean, guys, this car is really coming together. So I did go down to Nick's place, and uh, they really like the interior. I decided not to surprise you guys in the last video about their reactions, because I want to show you guys their reactions in uh, today's video. So I want them to actually see the full thing inside the car, and we're gonna go back to them, and hopefully they see the entire interior. So far, to get this entire interior in there, it's pretty much only $650, which is a killer deal for an M3 bamboo interior. I love the, I like the name bamboo, and that's not the end of the bamboo right there we got a couple more upgrades from that e93 m3 so we got the steering wheel I actually already had the steering wheel but I, I I passed on the paddles but then I did some research and I found out it's super easy to install these paddles so I decided to get these paddles they're DCT paddles it should be honestly a direct replacement which is gonna be so 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 sick we got new climate controls mine's is just beat up these are normal climate controls actually the m3 seats also they're heated so we can actually do a heated seat retrofit which is gonna be coming up as well I just need uh, the ones with the actual heat is seat buttons there and we'll do that retrofit um we got a new trim over here as well this is basically for free you just threw it in there because honestly um my trim is pretty beat up and this is in better shape and then my trim on this one as well is really beat up and all this is beat up so this is just a temporary replacement since we're replacing the trim anyways but yeah guys this is the new trim check that out so this is called the bamboo uh bamboo wood trim so this is such a unique trim and I believe it only came with the bamboo option. So if you didn't go with the bamboo seats, you can't actually get this trim. So I, I just think that's super unique, super cool. I've never seen this on any other BMW and I'm not a huge fan of wood, but this is like a super dark and like, look how, dude, that looks insane, dude. So yeah, we got it for all four doors. We got the whole center piece. The only piece we're missing, honestly, is the center iDrive one. So this piece right over here and then the one that actually goes right back there is well, we're gonna be leaving that wrapped in carbon fiber because I mean, hey, why not? I do plan on actually upgrading this to the M Performance shift knob. I'm buying a brand new one of these so the trim looks absolutely in beautiful shape. And then replacing this probably with an M car one or just getting a real carbon fiber one. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. That's not gonna be in the near future. That's whenever I find a good deal on one of these because um, again, this is a budget build. These actually came on the one from AutoGator. So I actually got the door uh, trim pieces as well. Um, Nick actually had the entire um, pretty much like dash and the whole kit but I told him like how much would you sell me those two with the friends and homie discount so shout out to him for hooking me up on those I pretty much got these two pieces for only 60 bucks on eBay they're going for like $200 which is about right for this kind of trim and then as for the steering wheel uh, the trim is absolutely mint the DCT paddles with the steering wheel paid 500 bucks for this but guys this is gonna look absolutely insane I got this from BMA European for 500 bucks guys that is a killer deal because the DCT paddles alone on eBay are 300 bucks. The trim alone is 150 bucks, especially in this condition, it's brand new. And then the steering wheel alone is at 300 bucks. So if I was to buy all this separate, I'll be way over 500 bucks. So that is a good deal right there. So I'm super happy about that. And that's gonna truly change the feeling of this car when I drive it because when you're driving, the only thing you're primarily touching is the steering wheel. When you have an M steering wheel with DCT paddles, guys, it's gonna look insane. It's gonna feel insane, especially sitting in the M3 seats. We're gonna have the bamboo trim to match with the bamboo leather guys i'm just i'm just overly excited i love modifying cheaper cars and making them absolutely insane so without further ado guys i think the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is uh let's go with the door trims because the doors are missing all the trims right now moment of truth guys the wood trim i really hope this fits right because if it doesn't i mean it should it definitely should no questions asked Damn. Oh, <laughs> I think those colors look great together. Man, this is like a luxury. The M3, the E92 M3 we have has red interior with the carbon, leather carbon. So this looks so good. It's like the luxury car and the other one is a sports one. Man, that looks amazing. All right, let's go ahead and do the other door panels and the rear door panels. All right, so the next thing I want to remove is this garbage trim right here. So let's go ahead and move this and remove this and remove that. This we're not putting it back on. This we're replacing it and that we're replacing. So hopefully this comes off. I mean, who cares I was, honestly if you break it because we're not reusing this. I just remembered that. So this makes this job 10, I thought 10 times easier. Hold up. Ah, okay, there you go. Finally, that was a little hard there. Goodbye, and now to remove these guys. Actually, let me show you guys why I'm replacing these two. 
Look at all these buttons. They're super faded. The rings are faded. Like this honestly is in pretty rough shape. Honestly, the bezel, it's not terrible, but it has this giant peel down here. And this bezel down here has this giant peel over here. Um, obviously the CIC has a little bit of wear and tear as well, but replacing this cost me like 300 bucks. So I'm not gonna do that. But if I could at least replace this trim piece, which is in pretty rough shape, and this trim piece with this, yeah, that's gonna be a win in my book. So there's only two connectors honestly holding this little bad boy here. And thank the Lord, this doesn't require any coating. So garbage. Oh, oh my Lord. Ah! All right, out with the old, in with, come on, come on. We definitely have to give this a good little wipe down once it's on here, but oh yes, oh yes. That looks way better. Go ahead and connect our climate controls. Put that bad boy back in here. Come on, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Well, definitely in better shape. Um, I'm definitely gonna be getting a new one of these with the heated seat option because I do have heated seats. Uh, I'll go ahead and wipe this down in a minute, but for now, good stuff. So the next thing, guys, let's go ahead and slap in the dash trim piece. That is the money right there. That is gonna be the gorgeous thing they're gonna be looking at right in front of me while I'm driving. I'm excited. Alrighty, in with the new. Guys, this is already looking so, guys, I've never seen trim like this in my life. All right, push button start connected. Let's go ahead. Slam that in there. Sheesh! <laughs> that looks so good, dude. That looks super luxurious, man. That is crazy. Go ahead and just connect our buttons right here. Wow, these buttons are in really good shape too, so super happy about that. Definitely replace these. Okay, cool, we're in business. The last trim piece to go. Okay, out with the old and in with the new. Oh my God, guys. I, I'm honestly speechless how beautiful this is. This, lit, I, this is by far, like carbon comes first, but I think I like this over aluminum, like at least for this color tone. Like guys, look how good this color combination is. Like it just makes this car, like this is a luxurious color. Having aluminum would have been too bright for this interior, but man. All right, we definitely need new cup holders. You need a new trim piece here. We're probably gonna need a new one of these later, but this looks so much better. I want the one with the heated seats and I'll probably get a new bracket as well. Um, this one is in better condition, but still a little rough around the edges. I think these brand new from being anyway, like 50 bucks. Um, this one's 50 bucks, that one's 50 bucks, cup holders. You know, we're talking like $150 to completely restore all this. Not a big deal, but at the same time, a little overkill for a 328. I also wanna get that M Performance automatic shift knob from BMW. I think that's like 150. Again, really nice, but a little overkill for now. We're definitely gonna be doing it, but I'm waiting for them good deals. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we got all the trim, all the door panels. We even upgraded the speakers over here. So now we have tweeters which is super nice. I don't even know if I said that right. I might, I might sound dumb right now. But the next thing, guys, is the steering wheel. So I have a brand new airbag. So with the steering wheel, it looks so, so, so good. And it should be direct plug and play. Um, I don't know how. I mean, these are upshift, downshift. But as soon as I plug in the other ones, they should automatically work as downshift, upshift. So um, at least that's what I heard in the forums. But yeah, I mean, I've removed this steering wheel and this airbag probably, I would say, um, 20 or 30 times. Uh, I would say about 50 times in my life. So let's go ahead and record me in real life time how long it takes for me to remove the steering wheel i should probably disconnect the battery uh just to be safe all right guys i actually disconnected the battery let's see how long it's gonna take me to remove this steering wheel like i said i probably removed it about 50 times in my life um so i think i got pretty good at it so this timer starts now come on come on come on leave it right there kind of a little good soft spot and then press that one in pull it out at the same time bada bing bada bing pop out this pop out that Oh man, Nor, you are going way too fast for YouTube, my dude. Got that bad boy out. Disconnect the last wire. Oh dear heavens, hold up, hold up. Forgot to pull one more thing before I break my clock spring. All right, right over here, bang, just like that. Oh, I just broke my clock spring for going too quick, guys. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That shows you guys, don't flex how to remove a steering wheel because it ain't cool. All you do is mess up your clock spring. So, um, dang, that sucks. Looks like a man needs a new clock spring. Well, I guess I'll we'll replace that anyways. Um, not necessary uh, for the installation of the new steering wheel. Dang, really? 
That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. All right, well, before installing the new steering wheel, I think I need to go get a clock spring, so. Dang, that sucks. <sighs> Making my way downtown, traveling fast. I don't know what is going on. Ba -la 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 -la. I really hope I make it there in time guys they close technically at 5 but if I get there at 4 30 sometimes they're cool and sometimes they're like nah we're closing real quick and I'll be like yo I just need one thing and then sometimes they let me slide so I'm hope Ooh, Dunkin Donuts is here I didn't even know that that's crazy they must have just built that any easels uh off to getting our clock spring <sighs> all right guys just oh come on dude you're turning it really wide my friend um guys we just pulled up hopefully hopefully they'll let me in Fingers crossed. I really want to complete the interior today. Just came back, got out with the clock spring. I think this one's good. I did have the market just in case it's not good, but it should be good enough to at least get the steering wheel on there. It is super filthy. I need to wash my hands and then wash that thing before actually installing it, but super happy we got one. Um, don't do what I did and try to remove it as quick as you can. I cannot believe I forgot to get, I, I do this a million times. Come on, Nor. And now that we're back home, I have the brand new clock spring. I wiped it to a pretty good extent, at least all the handles. That's the main thing, honestly. The rest of the stuff the center i don't want to mess it up or anything so i just cleaned it up to where it's somewhat decent now this did come off of a pick and pull car so there's a good chance it could also be defected that's why i actually had them label it uh but at least it should be good enough for now we'll drive it if there's anything wrong with the clock spring we can still be able to drive uh but we'll definitely need to replace it i could probably do it at the pick and pull parking lot and just get another one eventually so i'm gonna go ahead and reconnect everything i'm not gonna go as speedy gonzalez as i was last time because uh last thing i want is to hit the pick and pull Again, you guys know what I mean. So, all right, that's on there. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, finally, guys, we have everything back where it was before we actually broke something. Here is the M3 steering wheel. It should be literally direct replacement. So, bada bing, that clips in there, that goes in there. Last but not least, the airbag. That is very important. Make sure the battery's still disconnected, guys. If you're ever <laughs> replacing airbags, you do not want this thing blowing up in your face. Like, let me tell you. Moment of truth, guys. Moment. Make sure everything is connected in there. We have everything reconnected, looking perfect. Sheesh! That is what I'm talking about, guys. That looks <laughs> insane. Now, for somebody else that has an M3 similar to this spec, what 328? I don't see a 328. <laughs> what? This looks crazy. Now I do need to recondition the leather on here. Probably the seats as well. Obviously with M stuff, it has real leather. So you do need to, uh, you know, upkeep on the maintenance. But other than that, guys, guys, these paddles should work too. Let's go ahead and get the keys real quick and uh, give it its first startup. I should probably even take it on the block, see if these paddles work properly and see if this clock spring works. But I mean, check out this beautiful airbag. This is a recalled airbag. The trim's in really good shape. Super happy about the condition, about all of this stuff. Oh man, this is a sick daily. Guys, what 328? <laughs> first startup, sheesh. All right, guys, this clock spring either might be bad or just might need to be coated. So, well, actually, it might just need to be recalibrated. I think you just turn it one way and then come on the other. And it's still there. Dang. Okay, well, M1, M2, M3, M4. Oh, my God, guys. Paddles work. That's what I'm talking about. Now all this is for another day. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with all of that. I know obviously the airbags is for the new seats. Um, and obviously we took off a couple airbags, but I didn't think the actual airbag would still stay there. And then um, breaking that must be because of the uh, clock spring. I'm gonna go ahead and drive around for a little bit and hopefully it just fixes itself. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Or we might have to clear the codes. I'm waiting for the scanner once my wife gets home. All right guys, after a good drive, um, still none of the lights actually ended up clearing. So we are finally home. So let's go ahead and just clear the lights and hopefully, hopefully uh, this works. If not, we're gonna have to pull out the 
laptop and that's no fun. Guys, we have so many codes. We already have 20 issues. Hopefully this will clear at least, I'm hoping at least the airbag light will go so our airbags are functional. If our clock spring needs to be coded in, that's fine. I just want the airbag light to go. I'm trying to be safe, you know what I'm saying? 90s, 35 codes, my lord. Air conditioning, airbag, dynamic stability, full module telephone, car access system. So we're just gonna clear all that. And uh, let's see which ones end up disappearing. Please restrain system, go, 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 go. Oh, man, what's going on here? Okay, good thing is the airbag light did go away, but the stability control did stay. So it does look like the clock spring may need to be like uh, calibrated or coded in or something. That being said, guys, that is gonna have to conclude this video. The next video might be some more M3 modifications. Who knows? I'm a little bit addicted, honestly. We have the United 2 M3 parked right out front and I opened the doors to that car. I haven't driven that car in two weeks. My wife's been uh, driving that. Like that's been her daily and she's been absolutely enjoying it. She's been loving that car. She doesn't really drive much, so I let her drive that car more. And then I've been honestly driving like the long distances and obviously with fuel economy and fuel efficiency, this is the way to go because I mean, you're trying to save money on gas. Like to be quite frank with you guys, I think I put about a thousand miles on it in the week that I've owned it. Like that's how much I drive, like it's crazy. So having this interior, having this trim, having this steering wheel and everything working is just an absolute blessing. And I love, I love conversions like this. If you guys do enjoy videos like this as well, make sure to smash the like button. We are still on the lookout for the new build, the, the build to replace the F80 M3, an absolute legend of a car, but we're trying to find something new, something different. And again, I'm not rushing. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy these daily vlogs. Hopefully we get some more M3 modifications in the next video. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.